It's probably fair to say that there is not a woman anywhere who likes having hot flashes, but now there may be a silver lining to those unpleasant menopausal symptoms. In an analysis from, of all places, the journal Menopause, researchers found that women who experienced menopausal vasomotor symptoms in early menopause had a decreased risk of cardiovascular events. In contrast, similar symptoms much later on after menopause were associated with an increased risk of heart disease. The results were surprising, as previous information has suggested that menopausal hot flashes are associated with increased risk of cardiovascular disease overall. In this analysis, the relationship between vasomotor symptoms at menopause and the risk of incident cardiovascular events and all-cause mortality was associated in more than 60,000 women. The results showed that women with early symptoms appeared to have a lower risk compared with those with no symptoms, while those with late symptoms, an average of 14 years after menopause, seemed to have a much higher risk. This is still an observational study. Clearly, you can't randomize people to have hot flashes. For what it is worth, there was no evidence of an effect of hormone replacement therapy in this study. The researchers controlled for hormone replacement therapy as best we could, and the researchers controlled for hormone replacement therapy as best they could, and the picture looked similar in those taking hormones and those not. It may be that hot flashes experienced earlier in life reflect a healthy blood vessel response while later in life a maladaptive one, which may explain why the same symptoms represent a different risk and outcome. For now, it seems reasonable that we still focus on traditional risk factors such as high cholesterol, high blood sugar, hypertension, obesity, sedentary lifestyle, and so forth. Whether a woman has hot flashes or not will not trump those factors in their importance. I'm Peter Block with the Cardi Source Heart Minute.